what would happen if we had perfect focus? Won't we all be limitless in our actions, in our words, in our thoughts? This is something that I've always wanted to figure right out. And this is my current realization on how to get a perfect focus. I have realized that you need only three things, just three things to get a perfect focus in your life, in my life. Well, the three things are a very clear objective on what you want to do. The second thing is a time frame on when you want to complete the objective. And the third thing should be very clear on the consequence or the pain of not achieving that objective on that time frame. Let me explain this in multiple uh, you know, points of view or perspectives. Let's say you're a student and you're a student in 11th and 12th and your objective in life, you don't have an objective, that's really, you don't have to have focus. But let's say your objective is, I want to clear the NEET exam, the JD exam, the Kanadaka exam, and I want to get this specific rank. Your timeline is very, very clear for you. At the end of 12th, you're going to give those exams. If you've already made up your mind that you want JE, you want a NEET, you want a NEET, I want to get into Harvard, and that's your objective, and the timeline is clear, you need to be clear the consequence. If you have no consequence of not achieving that objective, you will never be focused. Okay. Let's say you're a student there and you say that, oh, if I don't get into IIT, I'll get into NITK. If I don't get into NITK, I'll get into St. Joseph's, I'll get into any other college in the country. Then you are actually having no consequences. And that is why you'll not be focused. If you're a student, let's say, for example, let's break it down even into a week or a day. You wake up in the morning and you don't have an objective for the day. Let's say you have an objective. These are the things that I want to achieve by the end of the day. You have no consequence of not achieving it. You will not be focused that day. So consequence is extremely important. Let me say this from another point of view, my point of view. If there are no objectives that I want, there are no targets or there are no projects that I have to work on, and there is no timeline on those projects or those challenges or my goals, and if there is no consequence of not achieving those goals or the targets or those projects, then I will not be focused in life. Let's say you're an adult, you're a grown person, and you say, what is my purpose in life? What are my goals in my life? What is my bucket list? What are the things I have to do in this lifetime? These are the things that I have to do before I die. And if there is no consequence in your life for not achieving those objectives, you'll not be focused on your goals, on your purpose, or what you want to do in this lifetime. What I see is that the consequence or the pain of not achieving it is the most critical thing. The greater the pain, the greater the consequence in your mind of not achieving it, the greater the focus. So the pain, the consequence is extremely important. So let me explain that from you, okay? Let's say, for example, you're a student and your parents have given you everything. You've given a house, you've given a nice, you know, you're taking care of your meals, taking care of your laundry, taking care of all your expenses. And you don't achieve the goals. You think that your parents have sufficient money. Even if I don't do anything in life, I've got, then you can join my joint, my dad's business or my parents' business, or my parents will take the trouble of sending me to another college, paying the donations and so on. You have no consequences you'll never be focused. Let's say you're a grown-up and you're an adult. You have, you have a decent salary, you've got a house, you've got a car, you've got a decent life and you have objectives in life. But if there's no consequence of achieving those objectives, you will not be worried about them. You will not be focused about it. Let's say you are, you know, a grown-up person or, a, you know, You've thought about things and says, I have come to this world with a purpose in mind. I've come to this world, certain things to achieve in this lifetime. And you're clear about it. And you know that you want to achieve it in this lifetime because this is a lifetime you have. And you know if you don't achieve it, what the consequences are. And the consequences may be, you'll be forgotten. The world will not be the same if you don't achieve it. You need to feel the pain 
of not achieving the consequences or not achieving the goal there. That is extremely, extremely important. So have those three things clear in your life. Write it down. Write down your goals. Write down your time frame. Write down the consequences. And if you don't have those three, you're not going to be focused. And that's how simple it is to get focused in life. That's all I have. I hope you and I get focused and fulfill this purpose of this lifetime. Thank you.